everyone, it's your friend Thing Noodles, and welcome back to the Noodle Planet! And today in the Noodle Planet, we're actually going to be doing two things up high. Well, sort of, I mean, uh, well, we're going to the island in the sky, and a lot of you guys may not have even seen that before or know what's up there. Well, if you've downloaded it, but if you're new to the series, you may not even know about that. And then we're going to be playing a little bit high up in the nether at the XP farm, but first, we have a Golden Noodle Award to give out, and it goes to Drawing for Life. And you guys can see the lucky, well, not lucky, but <laughs> you guys can see the fan art on screen right now, which is the reason that Drawing for Life got today's Golden Noodle Award, and it was just awesome. I love the colors, I love the drawing style and everything. Congratulations! We're gonna get a new one, we're gonna be getting, ready, getting rid of the mines, and don't worry, uh, some people have asked on Twitter and in comments, are you gonna stop when you get to here? No, that's what the second level is for, and the third level, so, like I said before, I think, I think if I go, if I fill up the tree, uh, with signs at all the levels, I think there's like about 450, and since I give out one per episode, we've got a lot more to give out, so, let's head into the nether, and, um, check out the XP farm. I've completed um, most of the redstone. I, at least the XP delivery system part, I have completed going back and forth between my realm and the uh, and the demo world uh, from the uh, creator's uh, video. Um, get up, get up, get up. Oh gosh, I am, I, I'm gonna build one of those uh, up here all the way up, uh, one of the minecart elevators. I was practicing there and this is like, <laughs> this is the worst, like a long commute to work, you know, you have a little, have a little, little, little breakfast on the way up. Um, although you shouldn't eat while driving. Um, but it, it, it's so long, so boring. Um, but I did, I did actually make it, uh, over here. Um, and yeah, I, I've put some glass here so that we don't have any spawns. And, um, so, uh, like, like I was saying, I have completed the, check it out the XP um, delivery system. So we can go to trial, show it to you guys right here. All right, one more. Um, let's see if I can, sometimes I mess this up. Oh, I did, I did mess it up. Um, get there and then like this. No, what is, ah, I, 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 I know how to do this. I swear I do, hold on, come on, no. <laughs> I need to, I need a better way of, there, there, there. When you start doing that, yeah, like that, when you start going down like that, it, yeah, there. Okay, so here we are, why did I leave that there? Okay, uh, so here we are, this is the XP delivery system, there's, uh, there's some, uh, redstone back here, it's just, it's really mostly a timing circuit, um, there's a clock there that pushes the XP across, because it doesn't go into hoppers, and then the, the timer shoots it up, and then that up there, comes out and catches it and bounces it up higher. Uh, and these right here, these hoppers, oops, these hoppers here um, collect, well, they collect everything right now, um, but eventually uh, I wanna make a hopper system that will uh, discard um, <clears throat> any, uh, I guess, let's see, I'll, maybe I'll use like a dropper to drop it into lava, but um, get rid of the, uh, the rotten flesh and the gold swords, because I'm not gonna need those. So anyway, here we are at the, Oops, that usually doesn't happen. Um, here we are at the top, I guess because I walk around it. Um, <clears throat> so here we are at the top. And uh, you guys can see we've got some spawns here. And we've got a snowball. And we can throw it at Zisto there. Hey Zisto, how you doing buddy? Feeling good? There you go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you guys can see how it works here. Now this is a fully automated AFK XP farm. All you have to do is throw one snowball and stand here and uh, you can walk away. Uh, you don't have to do anything, you can just leave. And as you guys can see, not doing anything and no interaction at all. This will keep going um, for eternity. Uh, now, here's the thing though. On a realm's server, uh, I don't know what the view distance is set to. Uh, usually on a server it's set to 10. It may be lower on a realm server, so uh, it does sort of peter out, but I haven't gotten it to stop entirely, so it still does keep working. Uh, it does work better on single player, or if you have a server where you can change the view distance to something like 12, it is crazy. It goes so fast, and this is still pretty fast, you guys can see. And I mean, it's completely okay. So honestly, if it's not as fast as it could be, who 
cares? You can walk away and collect XP. You can go have some lunch, go get some ice cream, whatever you want, come back, and you're still collecting XP. So, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. Um, and, oh, I do want to thank Snow Crash, the original creator of the XP farm, uh, because I was telling him I was having trouble with the realm server, and uh, I uh, and he offered to help. I invited him to my realm, and he showed me that I had a few uh, spawnable blocks down below uh, that could be interfering with the farm, and I think it did help the spawn rate. Uh, so let's get up to 30 XP here. Um, yeah, it shouldn't take much longer. So you look at it all coming, <laughs> and you guys can see it. Now there's a bunch of, well actually there's a chicken down there, but there's a bunch of items probably spewing out the sides because um, because the hoppers fill up. But yeah, I mean this is amazing. So, uh, and if you guys want to know how to build it, if you check the link in the description to Snow Crash's video, he has a world download, and that's what I did. I went back and forth between my realm and the world download uh, so that I could figure out how to design this thing because, um, you know, and mostly it was for the redstone part, this little redstone tower, uh, well, down there. Um, but yeah, really, really great. Um, and I think it's one of the first, if not the first, uh, AFK XP farms of ever, I think. Um, fully AFK, you don't have to do anything. So let's go, and it does collect, you know, you can collect a lot of gold as well, obviously. So let's see, I hope I hit this in the right spot. Yep. Okay, and let's get rid of this stuff that was spewing out. I'll probably pick it right back up. Nice. I don't... I'll, yeah, okay. And, you know, it, it, I guess I wasted a little... No, these, these guys actually... I was going to say I wasted a little XP from the guys um, coming out, but these guys actually fell off the uh, the edges. They didn't actually fall through the tunnel. Uh, anything that goes through the tunnel should come right back up to me. So, let's head down so we can go back up. Um, um Where is my... Where is my... Wait, oh, you're... Man, he's hiding the torch. Couldn't see it behind him. C could you excuse me, please? All right. And again, the long commute. And this is the worst part, the down. Because, <laughs> because <laughs> oh, man, uh, you can't, like, if you press forward to jump off the ladder, you can't because you'll go up, you see? Uh, it's really annoying. And did you guys ever think that this is this looks like a tunnel that I'm, like, sort of crawling in, like, like horizontally, like along train tracks? Huh? It's pretty weird, right? If you think of it like that. Okay. Uh, there we go. And... Whoa. That... For some reason, I thought that was a creeper. I see green, and I think creeper all the time. I still can't figure out why that does that. <sighs> why it's not fully... Um, okay. So... Oh! Right here! Actually, we don't... Uh, do I have an... Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, let's see. Um, now, let me see if I can remember this. I haven't done this in a while. So, what I need to do is stand here... And hit the button, and then stand in this. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Don't turn off. Perfect. Now, I should be able to just go right back through here, and it'll go to the island in the sky. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yay! It still works. Nice. So, um, that uses a timing circuit to shut off the portal in my treehouse there, so that when I come back through it, it actually isn't a valid um, nether portal, and we end up here in the island in the sky and uh well i can can look from up above i didn't realize i'd already put paintings up in here that's pretty cool uh, wow i'd done a little bit more decoration than i had thought so let me see so you guys can see here you should be yeah so you guys can get an idea of where we are here uh nice actually looks really cool from above there's Kopi, the Kopi statue. So what I wanted to do here was um, was sort of give this a, a look. And also, um, so I've got jack-o'-lanterns and stuff, and I want to put these around the uh, the Noodle Planet so that we get kind of a, um, I guess, like, uh, we get a Halloween feel. I mean, Halloween is coming up, and I wanted to have the next few episodes be a little bit Halloween-ish. Um, you know, just not, not, not spooky or anything, but just, I don't know, have have some Halloween items, and uh, so I, I took my silk touch shears, found a, uh, a spider dungeon, a cave spider dungeon, and got some cobwebs, and also got poisoned, and <laughs> and then um, and then I also have the jack-o'-lanterns, of course, so I thought I would decorate up here a little bit, um, and just kind of get it, I wonder, I was thinking about putting carpet in here, but I don't know if that'll really look that great, it doesn't make much sense, but I can use it 
as like a tabletop instead of a pressure plate. Yeah, so there. And <clears throat> um, I wonder, okay, yeah, and we'll put some book, book. I didn't have many bookshelves. I should have made more. Um, but we can put a bookshelf like, oh, this will work right behind here. Um, maybe like that. Eh, yeah, that's okay. And then, <clears throat> uh, what else can we put? Um, I, I was thinking of putting some paint, some more paintings up, but I, I didn't realize we had so many paintings in here already, so I don't need to put any paintings, but you can put some item frames up. And I thought that, uh, maybe let's see, um, where do I want to put an item frame? Oh, we could. Huh, you know, this is a lot more decorated than I had expected it to be. Uh, we can put an item frame maybe here. And I was thinking of putting... What was I going to put in it? I forgot. There was something... I was like, oh yeah, I should totally put that in an item frame. And now... Oh, a book. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. But still. I mean, you know, just because I think I think this is a good... Like, this is a good area uh, if you wanted to come up and relax. And kind of get away from all the craziness down there. Like the TNT and stuff. You can come up here and relax read a book there's a bookshelf here we can can put a little uh can put some can put a little couch in the corner here let's see um if i yeah but i it, yeah okay okay that's good that's ah oh, well oh i thought it broke the painting um okay so then uh and then we can put these item frames on the side here like this we got a little couch area here it's kind of nice um and uh, probably want to put another torch so we don't have anything spawn like a creeper. That would be really, really devastating. Um, and yeah, so yeah, that's getting a little better already. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, um, let's put a little bit of Halloween in here. And I've always wanted to do this since I built this, right? I wanted to make this look kind of like, I don't know, It's it's been here a while. It's a little neglected. Um, and... Uh, and you know, there's there's spiders living up here. I mean, we are way up in the in the sky, um, and yeah, it could be you know there could be a few few hidden spiders in the area. I don't want to do it, overdo it. Um, maybe oh yeah, one in the corner here. There we go. That's good. Oh, I've wanted this for so long. <laughs> um, and then we can put a couple of pumpkins and jack o' lanterns. And actually, since I'm putting jack o' lanterns, I can get rid of some of this on the ground here because these are yucky. Um, okay, so we'll put a jack-o'-lantern right, oh, you know what, we'll put it right here, that's pretty cool, uh, to say hello, come on in, and then, uh, I'll put another one there, and we'll put one in the corner here, because, oh, no, wait, I won't be able to get up that way, though, then, um, yeah, that's, that's actually okay inside, and then, uh, we can come over here, we can stick another one right here, like a scary one, like, you know, you're coming up, you're like, oh, look, it's a bumpkin. Ah, it's a jack-o'-lantern, okay. Um, but jack-o'-lanterns aren't really that scary in uh, in Minecraft. So we'll put a couple out here, um, and we'll and also put a couple of regular pumpkins, just to make it, I don't know, a little bit fall-themed, fall you know? So it'll look like, um, that looks silly, now that I think about it. <laughs> I Actually, what I should do is put them sort of, um, wow, oh, I should... Put some vines and make it like a pumpkin patch but uh you know sometimes though uh pumpkins grow in the wild like like this and this you know they just grow randomly um in different areas so yeah i'll put a few here there okay so that's pretty cool and we'll put we'll put a we'll put a jack-o-lantern um on this side as well like right there and yeah that uh and stick one in there yeah no <laughs> no there uh, got it. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. Um, I like it. I, I'm really, really happy to have, um, oh, we need some cobwebs up in here, though. Um, there. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that this is pretty cool, um, to finally <laughs> put the cobwebs in. Man, I have been waiting forever for that. Now, um, I'm not going to, uh, to use this nether portal to go back because, um, because it doesn't it doesn't do what we want it to do. If I go back through there and then we come back through the nether, we're gonna come back into here. So we will use our usual delivery system back home, which is jumping into the dog pool. Woo! Oh, I almost hit that. <laughs> I didn't, but I felt like I did. Oh look, an ocelot. And that that happens. Um it's one of the few times that I actually get spawns in the area because I have so many entities because of my item frames that when I'm up there, these uh, the, the the ocelots actually load and usually I get a bunch of them. I mean, this is only a couple, 
but I don't, I, I don't want to add a cat to the family today, but I think we should put, I should have, uh, well, we have more pumpkins. Do we have torches? Let's, let's make a few more jack-o'-lanterns here. Um, and then we'll, well, I think that might be enough, um, pumpkins anyway. And I just wanted to, uh, to sort of, let's, let's go into the doghouse here. Hey guys. Hey, happy Halloween ish. Sort of let's put, um, let's put a pumpkin there, pumpkin there. Oh, should I put them on top? Yeah. Let's, let's switch out the torches. So we'll switch out the torches. This is for, you know, making, wait, can I not? Oh, I can't do that. Oh yeah, you can, you can, we can. Here's what we'll do. Uh, it's kind of a trick, um, I, and I, I actually learned this in uh, in the in the XP farm. Is that you know you, you can only put uh, jack o' lanterns and pumpkins on certain blocks, and I was using them for the um, here we go. I was using them for uh, the the slime blocks. You know, I didn't want to waste obsidian. Uh, so what you do is you put a block underneath it, then you take it out, and then oh wait, cobble, 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 um, and then you can put it underneath like so. There. So if it doesn't let you put it, you can put something else underneath it and then cheat. Uh, so there we go. Break this too. But um, yeah, so I think this is this is gonna be nice and um, uh, come on, it's gonna be nice and Halloween themed and which I think is I've never done. Uh, for, I've never I don't think I've ever decorated for um, a holiday. That's so cool. No, no, kitty cat, watch out, there's dogs in there, they're gonna get you! Oh my goodness, so this one wants to be a part of- You know you're not a dog, right? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> hey guys, look at this! Here you guys, play with the cat! Play with the cat, everybody, come on, come play with the cat! Play with the cat, play with the cat, play with the cat! Get it! Get it! Get it! Yeah, yeah, get it, Kobe, get it! No! Get the cat! The cat's trying to eat your steak! Get it, get it, get it! <laughs> Oh, what a weird cat. I don't have any fish or else this one. Should we tame this one, guys? Should we? Okay, the dogs are going bananas. Okay, l let's see if I can get some fish quickly enough and that thing doesn't despawn. Oh, man, they're all going to follow, aren't they? Um. Ah, uh, okay. Sit, sit. Oh, my gosh. There's like a, a mad dash to get out of here. They, they have been waiting and waiting to stretch their legs. I do not have a splash potion to keep them from drowning. Um, wait, did the cat already leave? Oh no, the cat's still inside. Okay. All right, let's do this. Uh-huh. And uh, while we wait, I'll put some put some pumpkins around like under here maybe like this. There we go. And uh, yeah, definitely got to put a jack-o'-lantern here and here. Not centered. <laughs> let's fix that. I can just take that out for now. I mean, this is just, you know, decoration for Halloween. We'll put it back. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, oh, we should change those out for jack-o'-lanterns too, uh, but not right now. We need to try and get that cat. That cat really wants to be a part of the family, and, and I, I don't think that I, I should deny them the opportunity to be part of the family. So let's get some fish, and get back up there. Oh, I'll just put the fish here. Um, that way I don't end up placing a block. No, don't eat it. That's for the cat. Okay, and uh, what do you guys... How did you get out? I, I, mm. there you are. Hi, kitty, kitty. All right. So I think that <laughs> if I can tame this one, I think I should call it like, we should, we should call it a dog name or something. No, I didn't even look, relax, relax. All right. Let's sneak over. Let's sneak over. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. Did he really go upstairs? Ah, all right. I thought he was going to come back down. Let's, let's go up. Now the problem is, oh, here we go, here we go. All right, look at me. Can't quite reach him. Ah, that little bit of movement. I swear these cats, come over. No, I, I'm moving very slowly. Okay, I'm sneaking, here we go. Go slow, go slow, go slow, get it on his head. Oh, wow, that was quick. You look just like socks. Okay, well. <laughs> Hey, I got an idea. Okay, so, all right, guys, help me think of a name. Uh, put um, put your name suggestions in the comments below, and then I'll do the same thing. Select the top five names, and then uh, you guys can vote on a straw poll. But I'm thinking that we should do something sort of dog-themed, and this cat is going to live in the doghouse because it, it that's where, you know, I mean, 
you, you know, it, this cat right here thinks it's a dog. So it wanted to hang out with the dogs. It wants to live in the dog house, probably because it's a little bit nicer than the cat house. Sorry, Socks and Fluffy and and uh, and Scaredy Cat. Uh, but <laughs> but I think I, I think that this one wants to live in the dog house. So let's have a dog type of name. Maybe we could, I don't know, call it Rover. I don't know. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that was... <laughs> I, I didn't expect to adopt a new pet, but hey, things unexpected always happen in Minecraft. And uh, let's get some more cobwebs here. Make uh, make things look a little bit older in the Noodle Planet. Um, and we can we can actually put some. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't put anything inside the doghouse, but I can I can uh, I can do a little bit more spookyish stuff here. Um, yes, oh, it looks so good. Uh, it's you know I, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, I didn't know that that was open like that. I'm gonna leave it in the um, in the island in the sky, but uh, in you know in this I'll end up taking it out. Um, but still pretty cool to have this. Uh, you know, I mean it's as spooky as you can get in Minecraft, but uh, but it's cool to have you know a few things here and there that are Halloween related. And now we got a new pet. I can't believe that. And and only one fish. So this, like I was saying, you know, uh, this cat. Wanted to be a part of the family so bad that as soon as I gave it the first fish, it's like, okay, I'm yours. <laughs> so I'm really glad that we did adopt it and make it part of the family. Now you guys go in. Come on. Wait, actually, just get in here. Everybody, come and greet your new, uh, I guess your new uh, dog cat. I don't know what we'd call it, but everybody come say hi to the new pet here um, that joined the family. Um, <laughs> although may not go swimming with you because I don't know. Get in here! What are you doing out there? Get in! Oh my goodness! These dogs, I'm telling you, they are out hunting skeletons. I know it. I know it. Or they're swimming. Where are they? Oh, there you are! Bad doggy, Bokani! Sit down. And where's the last one? Probably in the pool. Are you in the pool? No, no, no. There you are. Get over here. Oh, Kuran. Of course it's you. Actually, okay. Actually, Okuron's usually a pretty good dog. I don't know. Get in the door. Get in the door. Get in the... Nah. Get in here. Um, usually, it's one of... It's like Ferdi Ferdinand or, or Kopi. Those are the kind of the, the mischievous ones. There. Sit. Finally. <laughs> okay. So, everyone's crowded around trying to figure out what's going on here. Look at Kopi with a Y. She's like, um... What is the cat doing in here? Guys, this is not socks. This is your new friend. You new friend, I know it looks like socks, but anyway, you guys kind of look alike. Anyway, well, you know, she's got a little bit of brown on her, and, uh, well, I guess the color colors make them different, except for Ferdinand and Vertiscam and Kopi and Copy. They look identical because they're clones. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode on the Noodle Planet. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, Noodle on!